Hello friends, this is a podcast to show you how to do an ogive or cumulative frequency plot on your calculator. Uh, we'll be visiting uh, material that starts on page 60 in your book and this the data that you see before you is problem 1.11 in your book uh, which is on page 57. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is show you how to put some data in and show you a little trick uh, that should help you during the year. If we go to our calculator, and again, to get in our list, we should know by now, stat, enter. And because I have data in L1 and L2, I want to put all these presidents in L3 and L4. Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is put their number in. In other words, George Washington was 1, Adams 2, Jefferson 3, so on and so forth. And you notice in the book that it only goes up to G.W. Bush, but I have taken the liberty of adding Barack Obama, our 42nd president, right there. So we're going to go up to 42. And what I want to do here is list the numbers 1 through 42 in L3. Now I could 1 enter, 2 enter, 3 enter like that, but that would take a long time. So what I'm going to do is I am going to right arrow over to L3 and then up arrow so that I'm on the list label. And I'm going to do what's called a sequence. So to do this, I'm going to hit second and list. It's going to put me in the list menu. One right arrow gets me to the operations menu, and number five is sequence. So I hit the number five. Now, uh, any of these sequences, I'm going to start with uh, telling the calculator what variable I'm going to use, which is x, and then what expression I'm going to use, which is also x. And this pretty much every time you use a sequence function, it's going to be x comma x comma, and then simply put the first number you want, which is four is one, the second number I want, which is 42. And if you're going to count by ones, you can just hit enter now. But if you were counting by fives or tens or twos or something else, you'd put that number here. So x comma x, first number, last number, and what you want to count by. When I hit enter, it has typed all 42 of those numbers into L3. You can see I'm all the way down to 42. Now, I have already put the presidential ages, so you need to pause this podcast and type in those 41 ages that are given to you in the book and then add uh, Barack Obama, who is 47. So now we're going to make a cumulative frequency graph. And the reason we do that is to see the standing of each individual member. Well, not the standing, but, but how far you have to be to sort of be in the middle, to be high, to be low, in this case for your inauguration age. First thing I need to do is put these presidential ages in order. So I have a command for that as well. I am going to quit out of my list. And if I go stat, the second item in my edit menu is sort A. That means sort ascending. So what I'm going to do is hit the number 2, and I'm going to sort ascending the ages, which are in list L4. So when I hit enter, it says done. Now when I hit, let me clear this, stat, edit, my ages are all in order. So the youngest president was 42, Kennedy 43, 46, and there's Barack Obama, 47. He's the fifth youngest president to take office. Okay, so now that I have them in order, I'm going to do a stat plot. So, what I already know about stat plots, second, stat plot. I have turned the second one off. If yours isn't off, you should be able to go to two and select off. And hit enter on one. Make sure it's turned on. And I'm going to go down, and I'm going to make a scatter plot which will have the same effect because of the numbers that I put. And let me just show you what we're trying to do in the book. If I go here, all right, this is the ogive in the book for this same problem. And you can see it's going to look a lot nicer than ours is going to look. I'm just trying to show you. And then this is why we're doing it. This shows me that uh, half the presidents were younger than 55. So 55 is sort of the median age for inauguration of a president. Uh, I got another one in here, 10%. So the youngest 10% are right here, and you can see the, that's right about where Barack is, right in there. Okay, so this is what we're trying to make, but we're just doing it on the calculator. So here it is. I go to the scatter plot. My X list is where the ages are. My Y list is where the number of the president is. And when I hit zoom nine, I get a dim mismatch. I did not put Barack's number in here. Now when I put 47, and then I hit graph, there I go. 